know, if you want to invite friends over to your house, but it's too small, or your friends are too large, you got two options. Move to a bigger place, or put an addition on your current one. Now, I don't know a lot about buying real estate. <laughs> but I do have an idea for an addition that's fast, easy, and best of all, requires no construction. That's right, we're talking prefab. <laughs> now, prefab comes from the Latin phrase prefabricatumus. <laughs> Pre means before, and I believe fabricatumus means think things through. So before you think things through, get yourself a few rolls of duct tape and a little imagination. Oh yeah, and a bus. Hope you're not thinking things through. Remember, prefab. Now this is probably not the ideal seating configuration for your guests, unless it's the playoffs. So we're gonna just rearrange the seats. my chainsaw. Four. Okay, after you carefully remove the bolts, you can start rearranging the seats. For example, if your guests want to stay overnight, you need to give them somewhere to sleep. Oh sure, they could just sleep on the seats, but with a touch of creativity, we can give them something a little more comfortable. The built-in bedsides prevent them from falling out and prevent you from seeing something you're not supposed to. And of course, this unit has an ensuite bathroom. But here again, a couple of seats placed just right. They're gonna give your guests a little privacy and prevent you from seeing something you really don't want to. Okay, as you can see, I've put up some classical pieces of art here in, instead of all the ads. Because you don't need people selling this stuff in your own home. <laughs> Unless it's on TV, which I fully support. I also recommend you keep a couple of these chrome poles just in case an exotic dancer drops by. Who am I kidding? Turn them into pole lamps. Of course, the key to the whole design is to have the bus door line up with the house door. It makes them separate yet together. Kind of like Canada and Quebec. <laughs> I guess that makes these French doors. Huh? <laughs> oh, here's another bonus. Your dog can let himself out. And the dining area is really spectacular. Well, maybe not spectacular. Rectangular, probably a better word. Here again, we just move a bus seat here or there, line them up just so. Throw a folding table into the center of the configuration, and suddenly, it's not just a dining table, it's a booth. <laughs> and the nice thing about eating here, you don't have to shout yourself hoarse calling everybody to dinner. <laughs> Next stop, supper. <laughs> but you gotta admit, this prefab edition has a lot of attractive features. So remember, women don't find you handsome. They should at least find you handy. And here's the best part. If you have guests arrive who aren't particularly welcome, you just hit the gas and turn this addition into a subtraction. You know, other than about a week in October, I basically did nothing last year. And I, and I was fine with that. But even though I was doing nothing, my mind was still thinking about stuff. Stuff that I hadn't done and should have. Stuff that I had done and shouldn't have. But mainly it was coming up with a lot more evidence that as far as I'm concerned proves that I'm right and almost everybody else is wrong. And that was fine too, but where I made my mistake uh, was that I shared all that with my friends and especially my wife. And before you knew it, they were suggesting that I gather up all of those opinions and stories and uh, take them on the road where they belong. I even went, uh, went to see my doctor to make sure I was healthy enough to tour again, and he gave me the go-ahead. He said I probably wouldn't get sick on the road, but even if I did, he'd prefer I was thousands of miles away when it happened. So I put together a brand new show, and I'm calling it uh, I'm Not Old, I'm Ripe, 
and we're going to be doing 20, about 25 cities, starting in St. Pete, Florida on March the 30th, and we're going to end up in the middle of May somewhere out west. Uh, it's basically a, a lodge meeting, and if you want to find out where I'm going to be and when I'm going to be there, go to redgreen.com, click on the city that's nearest to you. I'm hoping you can all make it, or I'm hoping a few of you can make it. I think it's going to be uh, my best show yet, and if you saw the first two, you know that's certainly doable. So uh, looking forward to a successful tour, otherwise my friends and my wife are going to look like idiots. Uh, until then, uh, I hope, I'm hoping to see you uh, at the Lodge meeting, and uh, in meanwhile, keep your stick on the ice. <laughs>